doing today? Good. How are you? Dave Snyder from uh, engineering team at Ram Trucks. And we just uh, finished a uh, really amazing day at the <laughs> office, we can say. <laughs> it's not a bad way to spend your day, that's <laughs> exactly. for sure. So this is the 2017 Ram uh, Power Wagon. This is a pretty special truck, right? But for many different reasons. Absolutely. We're really proud of it. It's part of our, obviously it's part of our Ram 2500 kind of vehicle family with a, a lot of unique things for the off-road stuff you got to experience today. So can you tell us a little bit about it? What makes it, I mean, what, what kind of technology, what kind of equipment goes in it? To... Sure, what makes it a little unique, obviously it's got the 6.4 Hemi engine, but yeah. that's across some of the, our other vehicle platforms as 410 well. 410 horsepower, it, and 429. Yep, 429, 410, and then, um, What's a little unique about the power wagon versus your standard 2500 truck is really when you start to get into the suspension components. Um, we've yeah. got a little over a two inch ride height advantage over the 2500 truck today. Okay. Obviously it's got the unique tires on there to get a little extra tread for the traction you need when you're off-roading like you saw today. Um, one of the other things that's a little unique, there's um, um, two things that we have on this truck that are unique to the power wagon. Um, the first is the front stabilizer bar disconnect, which when you press a button on the dash, um, it allows basically the stabilizer bar to detach from itself and allows it to twist okay. and rotate. And that gives you extra articulation when you're driving off-road. So when you think of a suspension, a lot of people think a suspension is designed to hold the vehicle up. And really what yeah. you're trying to do is hold the tires down. Okay. And when you're driving down the road, that's exactly what you want to do. However, yeah. when you're off-roading, that extra articulation, you've got to overcome those spring forces then to put the tires up in the air where you need them. What the stay bar disconnect system allows you to do is the bar is allowed to essentially rotate and that allows the tires a greater degree of articulation than what you have yeah, on a huge existing difference on each side. Absolutely. And combined with that, the lower control arms on a standard 2500 truck are basically a solid lower control arm with mm -hmm. three bushings. What the chassis engineers came up with was basically an additional bushing in that system to give a little more freedom of movement which when you combine basically the stabilizer bar disconnect with the articulating, you're up to like seven and a half additional inches wow. of articulation over what you'd have on a typical 2500. That's what uh, we saw in this the demonstration this morning. That yep. was a pretty steep angle and like still the truck still almost like the, the, the back tire I think was like one inch of the, rock, of the ground. But Yep, that's a, a standardized test that we use. Um, it's kind of an industry standard. It's basically called ramp, ramp travel index. Um, it's a 20 degree ramp and basically what you do is you drive up the ramp and once you get wheel lift on another wheel That's basically what you've achieved in a oh, score. Okay. Yeah, that's so, the limit. Yep. That's the limit and basically it's Very high level. It's distance up the ramp Divided by the wheelbase of the vehicle being tested multiplied by a thousand and that's kind of your RTI okay. score That's way too complicated for me. I'm not good at math. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. saw it working so that's yep. enough for and me. And when you put it up in the <laughs> You know, and, it, and it's funny because we talk about that a lot, you know, when we get back in the office and we start yeah. talking about the calculations and it's one thing to throw a number out there and say, I've got an RTI of X. Yeah. It's another thing when you really put that front tire up in exactly. the air and start to see what's happening. And I mean, you got to experience today, which was, which we thought was a really good course. The second half, some of those technical areas, you could see the flexing going on in the suspension where I've got to have traction at both I of know. those tires to complete the event. And it's really the articulation that gives you that. Yeah, and especially the, the rock climbing part of it is pretty impressive. Especially the first one was like, I don't know the angle, but it was pretty steep. Like, I'm going to say 30, 35 maybe. Sure. And you see it first and say, like, there's no way we're going through this. And, and, then, <laughs> and there's really, you know, there's nothing more fun for us than when you see somebody kind of the first few times. And they look yeah. at something and you say, I'm going to drive right over that. Yeah. And we're, we're going to drive over it without issue. And one of the things we're real proud of when we when we host these type of events is, you know, we're not hiring special drivers. You know, I drive a I bit know. of off-roading. Yeah. We, we give average people with a very good spotter and say, let the truck do the work and watch what it's capable of. And trust it, right? Because sometimes right. it can be a little bit it's scary to like see some of the obstacles and say like i'm gonna either damage the truck or like yep won't be able to go through it yep it can be a little unnerving it's a little unsettling if you're not used to it but if you let the truck do what it's what it's capable of doing it's it can handle pretty much anything yeah it's pretty neat to for you guys engineering you work in the shop and the factories a lot and then 
to come out and see the, the product in, in its natural. Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate in the vehicle development side. We actually get to spend a lot of time in the seat of the vehicles, yeah. um, doing basically analysis of the way our trucks handle on a day to day basis. And, and we spend a lot of time trying to put ourselves in what the customer experience the real, is. The real life experience. And how do right. we maximize that and make sure we're meeting those needs? So, besides the amazing off road capability of this truck, it's also like a pretty much a luxury truck. Like you see all the interior, like leather, double stitching. Yep. A lot of other amenities in it, right? Yep, and when, when you drive these trucks, I mean, it, they're off-road capable, they can be used for that, but there's plenty of people that use these trucks for other things as well. I mean, whether they're using it on the job site, whether they're using it for family vacations, you want to make sure you have all those creature comforts too. You don't yeah. want to neglect those things. Obviously, we have a tradesman offering that, you know, I'll let the brand guys talk about the marketing prices and everything else, but yeah. it's, it's very affordable with we, all the we capability. Drove, we drove that one on the way in, and actually, I mean, it drives really smooth and and also can do all these things but it's not like as luxurious it's, it's as not this, as right? luxurious as this but from a, a, a capability perspective it's got everything that you can imagine yeah this is the 2017 power wagon that you got to drive today a little bit unique from the 16 um the capability is still what we've always expected but it's got a little bit of unique graphics um you can see on the grill you know joe daner did a really good job explaining yeah. this morning some of the unique characteristics some cues we got off the rebel as well some of the graphic changes and then some of the seating changes interior, you know, you put power wagon, little, the little attention to detail that our design office guys come up with are impressive when well, you step I mean, back and you're like, wow, how did you think I know, you even put power wagon here to signify it? It's little or here, things. like on the seat, yeah. Yep, the Rams head on the seat, the power wagon on the side, the little things and the thought that those guys put into it from a engineer who has no style, it's incredibly <laughs> impressive. <laughs> but it's also neat, I mean, everything complements each other because I mean, people, want their own trucks to look uh, you know, in a personal way sometimes and that's the way they have to find different uh, different elements in it right yeah we we um we were doing some research a few years ago and and we got to speaking to a guy who was a he was a small business owner owned a, a cummins diesel and we were talking to him he's like but you know this is all, this truck's also a representation of me yeah i don't want to pull into a, either a job site and he goes look i own a small business my work truck is also my daily driver right. when i take my family to yeah. dinner I don't want to be embarrassed pulling up to the restaurant um, basically with something that I'm not proud of. And he goes, when I pull in with our Ram products, he goes, I'll pull in anywhere in the world and be really proud Absolutely. of what I'm driving. And it's, it's, it's interesting because, uh, I mean, I recently drove with a friend of mine. She's an artist. She's in mm -hmm. paints. And she, she said, I want a car that reflects my personality too. So she obviously wouldn't go for this, but like <laughs> that tells you how many things you have to think uh, about when you're creating we'll a get car. Her, we'll get her in a Ram, we'll convert okay. her. <laughs> no, be, I mean, she paints pretty big hey, uh, canvas. That's so right, she can she bring can all her painting here. equipment, everything she needs, we can get her there for. That's great. Well, David, we are pretty much uh, done with the gravel surface here. We're gonna hit the pavement now. Yep. And uh, that's another aspect of, the, of this truck that is pretty amazing that it's such a powerful and big truck, but also it's really smooth when you drive on the on the roads. You know, and it, it is pretty interesting when um, the the progress we've made as, as a company and the in the ride characteristics and the comfort of these vehicles. You know, you talk about the coil rear suspension and what that's added for the comfort. I tell you what, we drive these trucks all the time, and and I, I could drive this truck every day of the year, and I wouldn't have a complaint with the ride. We we've come a long way with with where we've been you know as a truck industry yeah. and people think oh trucks it's bouncy it rides rough and and you put them in the the progress we've made on ram and you're like wow this i get i get the shocked look <laughs> all the time going this. wow yeah. this rides really nice it steers really nice it handles the the interior is quiet and comfortable this is this is way more than I was expecting when and I got into a truck. And then on top of that, all that technology, the Uconnect system, the big screen, the Wi-Fi connection, yep. I mean, everything in they, here. They really spare no expense on these. And, I, you know, our Uconnect guys did a really good job with with the way between them and what we've got a group called HMI, which is Human Machine Interface, yep. which is a whole group. And the work that they put in to make sure, not only is do you have the technology, but it's intuitive and easy to get to. Absolutely. You know, it, it's not a complicated process. You know, we talk a lot, and I use my father as an example a bit of, you know, don't just make it for the guy who's 20 to 25, who's grown up with technology, very comfortable. Remember, there's a significant portion of our community yeah. that I want to get in, I want to easily turn the radio on, I want to turn the air conditioning on. 
don't make that complicated for me. Keep yeah, the simple and, and stuff that's a, simple. That's one of the complaints, I guess, in those initial quality studies that people not necessarily think that this doesn't work, but it's kind of complicated. Yep. And this you can actually say, I have to agree, it's a, one of the best, if not the best, in those terms and like functionality and all that. So. Yep. It's, you know, I. I, I use the analogy when I get into a truck or any one of our products it takes me a couple seconds to figure out 90% yeah. of what I need to find and then every once in a while you'll find something oh wow there's something configurable the yeah. radial volume bar line is orange well I can change that to blue yeah you can configure that if, if that's something that interests you we offer that but we don't get it in your way of being able to do the basic things you want to be able to do yeah. well thank you very much as you see you already hit the pavement and like we don't talk don't hear pretty much anything. No, no. <laughs> Not even that big thing in the front. Yep, it, it's incredibly <laughs> quiet and the guys did a lot of work to get it there, I can tell you that much. Well, we're gonna drive back to Vegas and uh, after enjoying this uh, amazing day and off-roading with Ram, so thank you very much, David. Anytime, I enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. In another yes, morning. sir. Thank you. <laughs>